Hi guys, today I wanted to go over my skincare routine. And my skincare routine is not really special, but I have a tool I wanted to introduce you to that I think is really special. Because if it wasn't for this tool, then my skin wouldn't be as... Well, I don't have perfect skin, but I don't get as half as many blemishes as I used to before I started using this. And the key to my regime is this. This is a scrublet and it's by Soap and Glory and I believe it was like 3 dollars for boots. You can get them most places now. This is kind of like the poor girl's face brush and it's basically just a silicone pad with little spiky doos and it massages and gently exfoliates your skin or stops the build up of dead skin anyway right in the morning I cleanse my face with this which is the Van Cleanse Gel or if I'm not using this I'll use the Neutrogena for acne prone skin it's the orange one in a pump this is also for acne or blemish, oily or blemish prone skin it says and it's got this pretty snazzy top it's just like you turn it and you open the hole you squeeze some out and make bubbles all over the place nice tissue but yeah and get a higher cut in it that's also nice but yeah I usually put about a pea size amount on my scrublet and then I'll I wet my face with like warm water and then I start from the bottom and I massage my way up and then I spend it, then I go back and spend count to 30 on my chin, count to 30 on each cheek, then count to 30 on my forehead and count to 30 on my nose so I know I've given my face a really good and deep clean. Then I rinse again and I pat my face dry with a cloth, well like a hand towel that's specifically for my face. I don't use it to dry my hands, I don't let anyone else use it, it's just for my face. And that's also a key a key point in your routine to stop, um, to stop breakouts because um, you're not transferring bacteria from other places onto the towel then onto your face. And I only use the towel like I change my towel every week like put it in the wash every week I know that's kind of disgusting but I don't have enough towels to get clean one out every day so yeah then I take a cotton round you know it's just like a little cotton pad you can get those anywhere and I use a gentle toner this is just the Garnier Spoon Play Essentials so soothing toner and I use that all over my face, I use it down my neck, back of my neck, back of my ears and then um, throw away the cotton pad and then I start with my creams the first thing I put on is this which is the number 7 pore refining serum and it's basically like it's a pump thing and it's basically like a beige liquid see how liquidy that is and you just rub it in and it minimizes your pores pretty much instantly and over a course of two weeks it like you really notice the difference in your pores how much it refines them and it makes like the surface of your skin really really smooth and it helps stop bacteria getting into open pores um, mine is like a way down here. I used to use the Estee Lauder Idealist but this pretty much does the exact same thing for uh, the Idealist is like £30, this is like 13 so you can see the price difference for the exact same product. Um, Clinique Duo version, there's loads of other brands that do a pore minimizing serum, it's just, this is the one I use and it helps control my oils throughout the day as well and whilst that's sinking in I go on and do my eye creams I use the Aqua Sensation Anti-Shadow Eye Cream from 
Nivea. Um, this is just a, a really creamy eye cream. This, uh, this range is specifically designed for people in their mid-teens to about their late 20s to help keep the skin hydrated and prevent wrinkles. Because as you can see, it's it's almost like a lotion-y consistency rather than a cream. And it's not greasy, it doesn't like give you that milia, I believe it's called, you know, the little white bumps you get if you overhydrate your under eye area. It doesn't give you that. Well, it doesn't give me that anyway. And then I'll go on and do my moisturiser, which um, some days my skin can feel tight after cleansing or kind of dry, even though I do have, well, not dry, like dehydrated. Even though I do have combination oily skin, I believe I do have dehydrated skin as well. Um, so sometimes I will either just use this, which is the Garnier BB Cream. It's a relatively new product, but I, I love it enough to include it in this video. It's just, it's freaking amazing. Like, look at it. It's fucking awesome. This is in medium. I know it's really, really scary looking. Like, it, my mom opened it, she's like, I can't use that, it's brown. It's like, I know it's brown. But wait until you rub it in. Let it. See, it just kind of blends straight in like a BB cream would. And I was all for ordering one from like Korea. Then they came out with this. I might still order one from Korea at some point when I finish this. Just to compare and contrast. I will probably, I might do a review of this, I don't know. But on days where I'm feeling a bit, skin's feeling a bit blah, I'll put this on as well. It's only beauty fluid, just your standard. It's quite cheap, it's like four pounds or something. I'll put this on first and then I'll put on the BB cream and then I'll do my makeup. Um, as for exfoliating, I exfoliate whilst I'm in the shower. I'll use my St. Ives scrub in the shower and then I'll use the... then I'll use my face wash after that and then carry on my skincare routine after I get out of the shower. In the evening to remove my makeup I use this Ultra Bland from Lush, you guys know I love this. Um, it's basically a solid oil that you just massage onto your skin and then I fill the basin up with warm water and I take two cotton pads, and dip it in and start dampening them and then I take off the oil. And then I use the water in the basin to wash my face with this and the scrublet. And then I will tone as normal. I do use this in the evening. I don't know if you're supposed to. It doesn't say. Just as apply to clean the skin, blending in gently where your pores are most visible. I use this twice a day because my pores are freaking huge. I use my cream as a night cream. Um, no, I use my eye cream at night as well. And then my night cream is the L'Oreal Revitalift. This has retinol in it as well. It's the anti-wrinkle and firming night cream. And it comes with its own little things. Stop there getting into the product. As you can see, mine is really empty, but I do have another one on standby. So I'm all set. I know you're probably wondering, why if you're only 22 are you using an anti-wrinkle cream? Prevention is the best remedy, people. Um, I like to watch like Uppies Beads, Miss Tammy. Praise Miss Tammy. If I could look as glamorous as her when I get to her age, I'd be so happy. So, prevention. Um, 
Some nights, if I'm feeling pretty lazy, I will take off my makeup this way using the cleansing milk from Johnson's on cotton pads and the eye makeup remover because generally this takes off my eye makeup quite amazingly because it is oil based, this isn't. And then I'll tone, do my lotions and serum and do my night cream. Although some days I don't use that night cream, I'll do a different combination. This has AHAs and BHAs, which doesn't really work too well in conjunction with the retinol. They kind of counteract each other. I did a little bit of research on it. I can't, I can't recall exactly what happens, but you can't use something that has AHAs and BHAs along with the retinol, because it stops the retinol from working, or something like that. But this is... And then clean its K and it's basically a cream exfoliant yeah a hydrating exfoliant and I will put this all over my clean face and I'll use this as a night cream just your basic E45 cream and this is really nourishing even if you have oily skin remember you're going to be washing your face in the morning anyway so getting greasy during the night isn't going to be a problem but yeah that is my skincare routine oh i have one more thing on fridays specifically fridays i have like a beauty night on a fridays it's because i have this like this fungal thing on my toe and so that I remember to do it, I do it on a Friday and I do all these other things on a Friday. I um, I apply on a Friday, I paint my nails on a Friday, I have a shower, I do the face mask, I do a hair treatment, everything on a Friday. I love it, it's like having my own little spa day. But this is the Fab Pore Facial Peel and I know it says facial peel but it's not actually a peel. It's like, um, it's just an exfoliator exfoliating facial mask. It smells lovely. I hope all Soap and Glory products smell like this. I'm not really sure because I only own one other one which doesn't smell like this. But yeah, you basically put it on, leave it on for 15 minutes and then wash it off. And that's my skincare routine. I hope you guys found this mildly interesting. Maybe I mentioned a few products that you're interested in and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye!